Gustav Robert Kirchhoff, German, Kchef, the 12th of March 1824 to the 17th of October 1887, was a German physicist who contributed to the fundamental understanding of electrical circuits, spectroscopy, and the emission of black body radiation by heated objects. He coined the term black body radiation in 1862, and at least two different sets of concepts are named Kirchhoff's laws after him. The Bunsen Kirchhoff Award for Spectroscopy is named after him and his colleague, Robert Bunsen. Topic. Life and work Gustav Kirchhoff was born on 12 March, 1824 in Königsberg, Prussia, the son of Friedrich Kirchhoff, a lawyer, and Johanna Henriette Wittke. His family were Lutherans in the Evangelical Church of Prussia. He graduated from the Albertus University of Königsberg in 1847 where he attended the Mathematico-Physical Seminar directed by Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi, Franz Ernst Neumann and Friedrich Julius Richelot. In the same year, he moved to Berlin, where he stayed until he received a professorship at Breslau. Later, in 1857, he married Clara Richelot, the daughter of his mathematics professor Richelot. The couple had five children. Clara died in 1869. He married Louise Brommel in 1872. Kirchhoff formulated his circuit laws, which are now ubiquitous in electrical engineering, in 1845, while still a student. He completed this study as a seminar exercise, it later became his doctoral dissertation. He was called to the University of Heidelberg in 1854, where he collaborated in spectroscopic work with Robert Bunsen. In 1857 he calculated that an electric signal in a resistanceless wire travels along the wire at the speed of light. He proposed his law of thermal radiation in 1859, and gave a proof in 1861. Together Kirchhoff and Bunsen invented the spectroscope, which Kirchhoff used to pioneer the identification of the elements in the sun, showing in 1859 that the sun contains sodium. He and Bunsen discovered cesium and rubidium in 1861. At Heidelberg he ran a mathematico-physical seminar, modeled on Newman's, with the mathematician Leo Konigsberger. Among those who attended this seminar were Arthur Schuster and Sofia Kovalevskaya. He contributed greatly to the field of spectroscopy by formalizing three laws that describe the spectral composition of light emitted by incandescent objects, building substantially on the discoveries of David Alter and Anders Jonas Angstrom see also, spectrum analysis. In 1862 he was awarded the Rumford Medal for his researches on the fixed lines of the solar spectrum, and on the inversion of the bright lines in the spectra of artificial light. In 1875 Kirchhoff accepted the first chair specifically dedicated to theoretical physics at Berlin. He also contributed to optics, carefully solving Maxwell's equations to provide a solid foundation for Huygens' principle and corrected in the process. In 1884 he became foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Kirchhoff died in 1887, and was buried in the St. Matthias Kirchhoff Cemetery in Schoenberg, Berlin, just a few meters from the graves of the Brothers Grimm. Leopold Kronecker is buried in the same cemetery. Topic. Kirchhoff's circuit laws Kirchhoff's first law is that the algebraic sum of currents in a network of conductors meeting at a point or node is zero. The second law is that in a closed circuit, the directed sums of the voltages in a closed system is zero. Topic. Kirchhoff's three laws of spectroscopy A solid, liquid, or dense gas excited to emit light will radiate at all wavelengths and thus produce a continuous spectrum. A low-density gas excited to emit light will do so at specific wavelengths and this produces an emission spectrum. See also, emission spectrum. If light composing a continuous spectrum passes through a cool, low-density gas, the result will be an absorption spectrum. Kirchhoff did not know about the existence of energy levels in atoms. 
The existence of discrete spectral lines was later explained by the Bohr model of the atom, which helped lead to quantum mechanics. Topic: <laughs> Kirchhoff's law of thermochemistry. Kirchhoff showed in 1858 that, in thermochemistry, the variation of the heat of a chemical reaction is given by the difference in heat capacity between products and reactants. Delta H T P equals Delta C P Display style left frac partial delta H partial T right underscore P equals delta C underscore P. Integration of this equation permits the evaluation of the heat of reaction at one temperature from measurements at another temperature. Topic See also Kirchhoff equations Kirchhoff Institute of Physics Kirchhoff Integral Theorem Kirchhoff Stress Tensor Kirchhoff's Diffraction Formula Kirchhoff's Theorem Kirchhoff Love Plate Theory List of German inventors and discoverers Spectroscope Notes